Hi, I'm Gina, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to integrate an AIP logic function into your Notepad document template. The result of that is that users are going to be able to press a button in Workshop and generate a document where the text itself has been generated by the AIP logic function. Before we get started, a quick word from our founder. Discover how Palantir customers unlock more value from Foundry and AIP thanks to our live instructor-led trainings. We are Ontologize, a group of former Palantir engineers who love teaching. We train thousands of Palantir users at leading organizations around the world. Unlock the full potential of your Palantir deployment by going to ontologize.com. By the end of this exercise, you will have built the following workshop app with this capability. We have essentially a study guide generator. So we put in the topic in pilot training. So for example, runway incursion prevention. And then click this button, click to generate your study guide. And what it's doing right now is generating us a custom study guide that is comprised of only the relevant parts of that FAA manual. Now the document is ready. So I'll see the toast, create a new document. And if I hit view, I'll see that I have a study guide made just for me on runway incursion prevention with some bullet points, some interesting facts. And all of this, of course, is based on our real data. Let's go build it. In order to participate hands-on with this exercise, you will have had to do the prerequisite, which is the video semantic search and AIP logic. In that video, we build a function that takes in a course topic, does a semantic search across the FAA chunks, which remember are the Federal Aviation Administration chunk object type. So that represents pieces of the pilot training manuals, finds the most relevant ones. So in this case, we did the top 20, prints them into a string and feeds that into an LLM to generate somewhat of a study guide for somebody who's looking to take a deep dive into some specific topic within the flight training universe. Make sure that you have this function before you get started on this exercise. If you don't have it yet, go ahead and watch that previous video and then you can jump right in. Starting from your function or from anywhere in Foundry, do make sure you publish your function. We're going to be hopping into Notepad. You're gonna hit Control J from wherever you are. Search for Notepad. Click on Notepad. Here we are at the launching page for Notepad. You have three choices, creating a blank document, a new document from a template, or a document template. In this case, we're going to be making our own document template. Click on document template and call this one FAA study guide generator. Hit save. Here we are in our notepad document template. If you haven't used Notepad before, Notepad is Foundry's rich text editor. Notepad document templates allow you to define how a report should look, so define all the widgets that are on it, but then populate them with different inputs. And functions are compatible with Notepad templates. The first thing you're gonna do is hit that forward slash. By hitting forward slash, you'll see all the different widgets that you can add into this template. One of the most common widgets that you would use with a notepad template is a quiver dashboard chart. And these are the other widgets. Note that there are a host of other widgets here, but specifically note that some of these widgets say that they support template inputs. What well, that means that these widgets can accept an input, meaning you can feed them in dynamic inputs, maybe from say a workshop, and they'll take that data in. At the top here, you'll see a functions on objects. And that's what we're going to use to embed our AIP logic function. Click on functions on objects and hit insert. The function here is going to be whatever you called your function in the previous step. I called my function, Gina, FAA study guide generator. Click on FAA study guide generator or whatever you called your function. And of course, you can essentially use any function that returns a string. You don't have to use the last one that we made. You don't have to use this exact one. So click on that. Click on a function version. Let's take it for a spin. For the course topic, I'm gonna to try out aeronautical 
decision making. And I can view the function result in plain text or markdown. I'll hit preview. And we have our generated study guide. Instead of displaying the function result in plain text, let's try this out as markdown. By rendering this as markdown, we have this render in a much more readable way and generally much better to look at. We're not quite done yet. We're going to need to make this notepad template accept a template input. That is going to enable us to actually embed this notepad template into a workshop where we would actually use something like this. Before we publish, you're going to go to template inputs. That's over on the left. Click on template inputs. Hit add template input. It's going to be a string. Specifically, the course topic. Now that we have a template input, you'll feed this into the function input in the widget configuration on the right. Hit select. And you'll see that template input pops up right here. That's course topic, the one we defined over here. Click on course topic. And don't worry if your results go away. This is just the template after all. Now we're done setting up our notepad template, so let's hit publish and take it for a spin in workshop. So publish and publish template. Hit control J and search for workshop. Click on workshop. Click on blank module and call this one your name notepad generation example. Hit save. Here we are in our empty workshop module. This is going to be a simple one. It's going to have a text input for a user to put in a course topic to generate their perfect study guide and then a button to generate that document. Get rid of this section over here. We only need one. We can even get rid of the header on this. We're going to be working with a lot of space that we frankly don't need. Hit add widget and search for text input. Click on text input. Now hit split section, hit new section below and hit add widget and search for notepad. Click on notepad at template button and toggle on fill available horizontal space in row and column layouts. We'll come back to this setup in a moment. First, we're gonna deal with the text input. We're gonna give this a label. What topic do you want your FAA study guide to be about. The string value, we're going to rename this to course topic. Next, click below where we put our button. And we're going to properly set up this widget so that it actually then generates a notepad document when you hit the button. Hit select under document templates. And the template is going to be FAA Study Guide Generator. If you're not seeing yours here, it's possible you might have made a regular notepad document instead of a template. So if you're not seeing it, double check that you published and that it's a template and not a regular document. Click on it and hit select. Click into this box here where it says FAA Study Guide Generator. There's still some work to be done. For the template version, choose the latest. For the menu display name, this is probably not ideal. Instead, we want to rename this something like click to generate your study guide. The string parameter, remember, our notepad template has an input. When we embed our notepad template into this workshop, we have to speed it a variable. The string parameter is going to be course topic. Click on course topic. There's a lot of other configurations here. And for the save and export options, you can make it save as a foundry resource, save as a foundry resource and export as a PDF, or export as a PDF. In this case, we'll keep it as save as a foundry resource. Go back to the home page. For the intent, for the color, we're going to make this success. So that makes it green. 
And then under display, we'll change the row height to auto to make it shorter. Let's try this out with another question. So I want to learn about wake turbulence awareness. And I'll hit click to generate my study guide. We have the toast that says that a new document got created, so click on view. And this is our generated notepad document. And if you like, you can also export this as a PDF. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this helpful. Let us know what other sort of AIP content you want to see next in the comments.